Yeah. Turn me up real quick. Smooth jazz. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Fucking just start spraying this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This beat's dope, bro. All right, um, do uh, little, little uh, uh, dreams. Yeah. Where do I start? Do I start with molestation? No. no. One time I was molested by you? a guy dressed as Santa Claus. Yeah. You too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Say, go on the sleigh, go on the sleigh. <laughs> go on the sleigh, go on the sleigh. I don't want to. Go on the sleigh, go on the sleigh. Jingle, 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 jingle. Oh, uh, uh, Everybody was molested. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, I don't right. like rapping. Uh, oh, no, you got it. You big got it. booty holes, up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just started spitting on yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout out, Brown Boys Podcast. <laughs> That's not the right podcast. Yeah. I thought this was a different podcast. <laughs> Who the fuck are these fools? <laughs> You're supposed to be in the next yeah. room over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed it. to be on Doughboy's podcast <laughs> down the hall. Four uh, cats yeah. and a baby. Yeah. Uh, I got four neck. cats and a baby and I pay attention to none of them. Uh, I'm right. kidding. That was a bad. <laughs> okay. I gave them lots of love. That was a joke. I'm going to come eat again. Uh, Topo uh, Chico. Uh, I'm going to spray you bitches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Damn. 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 And we love the fucker. It's your boy, Alo. <laughs> it's your boy, Infinite Dreams. It's your boy, Gazelle. We got a special guest for y'all today. We got the homie. What's Craig, you're going to have to help me out with your last name. Craig like, Philip Cohn. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> no. Jesus. Say it again. Craig Philip Conan. Mm-hmm. I always knew. I was, that's actually the name Ooh. of my daughter. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> your nah, daughter, your daughter's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Not that there's anything wrong well, with that. The things they do in Thailand is crazy. Uh, so I, you were, <laughs> huh? You're recently I'm a, a brand dad, new right? dad. He's yeah. 11 days old. Damn, isn't yeah, that crazy? You gotta get out of here quick. Yeah, yeah. I uh, you left that phone. I, in the I got. Car. I left that phone <laughs> in the, the car for the Brown Boy podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, but I swear to God, I don't know if you know this. That babies, when they're brand new, they poop like a black tar. No, and it's sticky. No, I know. I've been writing bits about it because I was like, <laughs> I was like, what are you, what are you haunted, bro? But yeah. it's completely, <laughs> it's normal, it's standard, and but nobody told me. I didn't know this shit. Yeah. Uh, just for like three days, three to five days, and it's straight like, like, like black mirror, like, like, a, like, like, yeah, like a black tar. It looked like resin or hash or that shit you get stuck on the bottom of your foot at the beach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I swear like to you're God. you're doing roofing all day. It scared me. <laughs> and I was like, and then everyone was like, no, that's, they they haven't eaten food yet. It's just the, uh, it's like vile. It's the fluid or whatever, the imbiotic fluid. You yeah. know what I didn't know about newborns? Apparently you're not supposed to give them water. Did you know that? Uh oh. <laughs> 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 I got, we gotta yeah. cut this early. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're just supposed to drink chi chi for yeah, like chichi, two right? years, dude. I didn't it's know crazy. That. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I, drink, I drink that shit to this day. Bro. They're oh, not. A, <laughs> <laughs> they're not supposed to have solid food till they get teeth. Uh, it makes lot, logical bro. sense. Water, right? yeah. And just like carrots and cucumbers. <laughs> like, and that's why my baby was choking. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not supposed to have steak. What? Yeah. Yeah. Carnitas. No. So how you liking it being a new Oh, dad? I love it, man. It the, all that shit they say is true. Something changes in you. You just hold them and you're like, oh shit, it's not about me anymore. Yeah. You know, we're kind of selfish. Human That's the beings. worst part, right? It's all about them. And <laughs> yeah. now like I always wanted to make it and become big time and I I'm on my way and kind of have been. And uh but now before it was just for me, and now I'm like, oh, I gotta Buy this fool some gold and some guns. You know, we got to set them up. Yeah. We got to yeah. set them up. Your baby's on a Facebook profile. Like, yeah. <laughs> Fly ass bracelets. We, yeah. No, it just, it lights a fire. I was always a hustler, but it like, cha- it like amplified it by a hundred. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I got to, I got to provide for this yeah. fool and protect him. That gotta instinctual trapping. shit. Right. Not just saying it, just to say it. Like it's, it's like a, it's an internal thing. Like you put it in motion. Like yeah. Almost, yeah. Like before I thought about it and was acting on mm-hmm. it, but now it's just like, let's go. Let's fucking go, yeah. you know? Yeah. So yeah. whoever's listening, if you guys need motivation, just... Just have a cut kid with a stranger. You'll do all right. <laughs> <laughs> with a stranger? <laughs> go back and see it in 18 so years. So one thing that's really interesting about you is like you told us even earlier is you say you got a part of you that's Mexican. And as you can tell, the rest of us here and by, probably also... Yeah, but not, not, not by the sign. By the sign right there, the brown boys. We speak Spanish. 
Yeah, a poquito. poquito. I don't speak. I'm whitewashed like a motherfucker. Motherfucker, I can't even talk. <laughs> what side are you? Is Mexican? My mom is full Mexican. Her, uh, she's first generation. Oh, she's, we were born in uh, Harbor area, South Bay, Los Angeles. Yeah, Harbor City, uh, Wilmington, San Pedro. And my grandparents were from Chihuahua and Mexico City. Hey, oh, shout out Chihuahua. Yeah, bro. yeah. And they, and then they they came here like I think in the. 30s or 40s and you know it was pretty racist <laughs> <laughs> nah. so they tried to, yeah it still nah. is and uh <laughs> they they hit it you know it was it was like survival so even uh my grandpa and grandma had seven kids and like they all speak spanish but only like two were like fluent fluent because yeah. it was like hide it because oh, you got spit yeah, on yeah, and yeah, beaten yeah, yeah. shit they were like the first Mexicans in Lomita, California. I'm not even kidding. It was like, oh, and then like later, that's more fucking families. Scary, bro. Isn't that crazy? It's scary. Yeah. That's like, like in the 50s. That's not that yeah, long back ago. Then, yeah. My grandpa tells me like in those days, you could literally just walk cr across the border. They wouldn't even tell you shit. Yeah. It was until like, I think like 9 11 happened. And then it just, I was going to say, yeah. And shit. That shit didn't happen until like 2000. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, there, damn, some, I missed it. There's still some level of border patrol. Yeah. But like, once the 2000s hit, that's when they went like to shit. It was just like straight up. Yeah. Can't come no more. It was just different too. There wasn't really, I mean, I'm sure there was cartels, but it wasn't what it is now. Like no. the world didn't know about it. It wasn't like crazy, even though I think they're funded by the CAA and put in <laughs> CIA. I said CAA. <laughs> yeah, the CIA. agency. <laughs> CIA. He has an agent, bro. CIA. He's got an agent. He's with the right. Better Business Bureau. <laughs> they're all in oh. fucking cahoots. Those fucking demons. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think that why, why do you think that why because the that? cia has been caught with drugs so many times They're look back. up a plane that crashed with kilos of cocaine that's true they put them into power and then they if as soon as the fools stop listening and then they take them out it's the same thing they do with all these dictators do you remember that chase uh fucking shipping container that they had opened and they found like fucking kilos of the, fucking the bank coke. yeah to chase the bank okay yeah and they had a shipping container and it was off i want to say out in the east coast somewhere if you look up banks that got caught laundering cartels money it's like all yeah. of them <laughs> <laughs> there's one that got fined a Near billion you. dollars <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> in proximity dude it's crazy they're all in fucking cahoots and everybody's just like no <laughs> the government has our best interests at heart okay fool fuck no god forbid i have I've, insufficient i've heard of the though. i've heard of the the government out here be funding the all the cartels like dude it's crazy the guns and all that shit i mean there's no reason why a cartel like in sinaloa there's no reason why a cartel should have a fucking Black Hawk helicopter, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. bro, that's like military grade shit, but they yeah. do, they got it. They get but, it from us. Would you yeah. be down to join? If I get a gold AK, hell yeah, dog. <laughs> Give me that ivory. That bitch down. <laughs> that ivory handled Smith and Wesson. They have your name Fucking on it. Crack, crack. I watch John Clad Van Damme movies. I can't talk. Why am I talking like that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> You know those 1911s with the fucking chrome and the ivory? That shit? Yeah. That shit I mean, probably. cartels do something right. They they got good guns. And girls. Yeah. yeah. Got girls. And yeah. drugs. They also have it's the best marisco spots. They just... Yeah. I, they lose me at the beheadings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh -oh. what I draw the line. Well, those aren't mandatory anymore. They just had a meeting. It's, for good. The it's too far. <laughs> too far. <laughs> There was they a strike. We don't want to be yeah, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they learned all that shit from us. That was this evil organization called the School of the Americas, where we pretty much trained every dictator that did every heinous act there was and to, and to rule the people. It's crazy. Oh, shit. I've there was a documentary it. on it. It's like shadow ban. Good luck finding it. There's people <laughs> protesting that shit. How'd you find it? <laughs> Uh, it's YouTube's and okay. like weird shit. No, <laughs> that, but YouTube in the it. '90s and oh. like 2000, you know, old yeah. school YouTube. Oh yeah. yeah now yeah. it's you know you can't say fucking Molested. vaccine or yeah. something. You know, oh, yeah, they, yeah. they go yeah, delete yeah. your account. Yeah. Bleep. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you ever crazy. Been, have you ever been out there then? Uh, Ch Chihuahua? Never. Mm, I've been all over Mexico. I don't really pay attention. I've been. I got family in Monterey, but we mainly go to Mexico City and um, Querétaro. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, oh, my God. The best tacos at this place. Los Los, los, los tacos and shit? No, Los Primas. <laughs> Those brown boys. Oh, it's fucking good, dude. <laughs> Los brown boys tacos? Mm. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico City, Querétaro. Where else? Um, just the trendy tourist spots, you know, Tulum. Yeah. Cancun, all that Cancun, shit. Cancun, Acapulco. Yeah. 
TJ. I went when I was TJ. before I was twenty one. We would just go to Rosarito and get drunk. Hell yeah! <laughs> I went there <laughs> like the twenty move. times on my own. Baja Fest. <laughs> but That's family trips was like more more Mexico City and shit. That make you feel like you're balling, huh? Oh, that shit's yeah. dope. That be out there. You just riding a horse. Yeah. <laughs> For no reason. With two For bottles no of reason. Henny. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I went to, to Walmart. I went to Rosarito. Got a yacht. Party with girls. I probably spent 35 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> whole weekend. One by one, we all got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> and we just take like a horror money. movie? They just yeah. picking you off? <laughs> Dude, they took me to the jail. And I was like, I can't go in there. And yeah. they're like, just give me money. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was out. Oh, uh, you got to well, love Mexico. You, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I mean, we, I don't know if Gazelle said in his intro, but yeah, we have the comedian here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't think we... Just, a like, great one, too. A great one, Great yeah. Conan. He's been doing it for a while. Yeah, they go, and then we go to fucking Arelitas and shit. I said, <laughs> my first time there, I was like, I will not do this. And then yeah. like five minutes later, I'm trying to borrow money to get two women. Oh, yeah. And I was like, hey, give me some money. <laughs> give, me, give me 10 bucks. Give me some money. To my homies. They're like, no, <laughs> fool, I give me some money. Yeah. Give me 10 bucks. I can handle this threesome real quick. Yeah. That's right. Now, right now, it's yeah. the, the spot to be is actually not your dad. I can't tell you anymore. Yeah, I'm retired. You gotta focus, bro. You gotta focus. Yeah. Off the air, though. Yeah, there's this place called Hong Kong. I know about Hong Kong Club, man. Yeah. There's We would just go roam and shit face, and we went to this one, like, titty bar in, like, a tree house. It was, like, upstairs. It was janky, dude. <laughs> and this lady, she... I didn't have any money. I had, like, three bucks. Yeah. And I was like, I got nothing. I blew it all, you know? And then she was giving me like a reach around hand job. <laughs> and we were like kissing. I was kissing with like a hooker. You know, that's not that's good. Like, I'm on, retired bro. now. This <laughs> is my old days. I was like 20. This is my dog days. <laughs> and then uh, I go to light a cigarette. This is like later after. And she smelled like like caca, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she stunk. That's fucked up. I'm going to get canceled. This is that's, your old days. Though. That's, that's the, 20. I'm retired. 20. I'm on cocaine and alcohol as a drug addict. I'm like uh, that's the almost dream, 11 though. years sober now. Oh shit. And then I go to light a cigarette for her because I'm a gentleman. Right. After I was sniffing the caca. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I lit it. And then I, I was so hammered I didn't know that her she was her, her face she looked like sloth, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, that's why you're making out with me. <laughs> and then I was like, ah and I just ran, dude. Yeah. I was like, I'm out of here. And yeah. I went home. Yeah, dark days, huh? <laughs> Anyways, retired, you're retired. Dark, she's a lovely lady. Nights, huh? So how old are you now, brother? I'm 39. 39. So you're a late father. That's okay when I'm trying to be a father. Yeah, age. it's cool. Yeah. I'm ready now. I, yeah. I, if this was 10 years ago, I'd kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I had no money, no dream, no future. I was a drug addict, you yeah. know, and now I'm cool. What What's like the, mo the thing that you're excited to like? teach your kid the most like you're fire, like or fire crackers. <laughs> how to going safely bump. light firecrackers there you go. no that's a joke but i'm kind of serious <laughs> uh just like to be of nature and just garden and shit and go to the beach like um mm -hmm. like just that stuff just stuff just basically do Whatever my dad did, we're going to do the opposite. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Man, your, your dad sounds nice. I yeah. grew up in uh, like the, 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 the bars and we just go to the gamble and, you know, loose women, alcohol, yeah, bars. Black. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> At what age? Um, Young? My whole, yeah. Yeah? Four years old. I'm in the illegal gambling halls and what shit. What the fuck? Yeah, my dad's a bookie. Well, in, it's uh, legal gambling, so who gives a fuck at that point, right? Yeah, like like the bars we'd hang out at, they would smoke inside like until like 2012, until they got shut down. Yeah, like yeah, they yeah. just, yeah. the people in there were like, fuck you, you yeah. know? I like that though. I like an aspect. We like, we go to machine shops and just collect money. We collect little envelopes of money from yeah. people. Yeah. That and sounds just, like something you'd want to connect with like a kid with. I mean, yeah, but a legit enterprise. Yeah, like like <laughs> fucking drafts. How is that any different than Chuck E. Cheese, though? Let's be for real. Well, fuck Chuck E. Cheese, too, but uh, <laughs> they, got pee, they got pee pee on them balls. <laughs> no, never mind. At that piss ball pit. I hate Chuck E. Cheese. Thanks. It just smells like feet. That's no different than, than an illegal we'll sell, uh We'll sell micro greens and turquoise rocks, you know? Yeah. Where was your mom in all, while I was yelling all at my father? God damn it, Craig. <laughs> stop taking them to the bar. 
Because we come home smelling like smoke. And she's like, yeah. he was at the bar all night. Yeah. Just drinking and driving. You know, four year old with a hangover. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> at school the next day. Like, fuck. It's funny because when I was when I was growing up, I had an uncle who was an alcoholic and a drug addict as well. But I don't Me remember too. I don't remember like those memories as like negative ones, you know? Like when he when I would hang out with him as a kid. I thought it was I thought it was fun. No, it was fun for a little bit, but then you, like, for a half hour, but then you're at the bar six hours as a four-year-old. You're like, let's go to the park. (laughs) Let's let's, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese, (laughs) Dad. Throw a ball. Yeah. (laughs) Throw a ball. I'll fucking fetch. My dad is just a lunatic, you know? He's from Boston. He's just different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I like that old school shit, though, to a certain extent. Just like, fuck you, I'll do what I want. But then it's like, hey, man. Yeah. Let's go to the beach, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing a stripper and like her titties. There, she was giving lap dance. I must have been like eight, yeah. and he like gave me to, to uh, this one fool, my cook. He's a raging alcoholic. He might be dead now. <laughs> Anyways, he was my godfather, and then like he. He like took me out and I'm like looking. I was like, wait, I want to stay, you know. <laughs> now I'm a horny bugger, you know. Yeah, eight years <laughs> old, bro. <laughs> yeah, just seeing shit you're not supposed to see. Those uh, those like arcade video poker games where where it's like strip tease and you see titties and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, I'm getting oh, just like a, a peep kid. show. That's what like I it. I'm not bragging or trying to glorify it. I just grew up in a bar. Yeah. Did that you know? affect like how you were in school, like interacting with other kids and shit? Or you were still like, yeah. I know what's what's normal for these kids and what's normal. It made me the cool kid because I would have like Playboys and Firecrackers. At, yeah. And I was selling, uh, my, me and my dad would go to Vegas, my whole family, and I would collect the hooker flyers off the floor. Mm-hmm. And I'd sell them at school. And I mean in the second grade. Yeah. Second grade. I'm eight Damn. years old selling hooker flyers. That's their first set of titties they're seeing. Yeah. For sure. And then uh, uh, this one kid ratted me out. Um, I sold him this kid, Jimmy, and he went to this girl, Wendy, and he uh, Pussy has Jimmy. He said, uh, like, hey, Wendy, this will be you in 10 years or something. And then Wendy <laughs> started crying, and she went to the teacher, Miss Piper, and then the teacher went to Jimmy, and she's like, where'd you get this? And then he pointed at me. Aww. And I had a hooker flyers and some money right here. <laughs> Bitch ass And Jimmy. then I had to go to the principal's office. <laughs> oh, shit. And then my mom came to school. <laughs> and she's like, you, t- you selling hooker flyers? I'm like, yeah, I want money, mom. I'm a, I'm business. a hustler. I want money, mom. <laughs> I want money. I'm it's the hard knock. And then later I sold <laughs> Playboys in like fifth grade and, fi- and bottle rockets and firecrackers. Yeah. Yeah. We just sold candy, bro. <laughs> I just yeah. sold that shit. I swear maybe, to me. Maybe like, the occasional. I, came I can't wait to not show my son that shit. Like, yeah. I'm going to teach him to hustle, but in in, in godly yeah. manners. Legit yeah. enterprises. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had my first magazine when I was like 12. That's a that's a decent age. Yeah, that's I was like good. 12 and I had You're my, not supposed to have it at I eight. I was seeing titties you know? pretty yeah. too, though. I'm going I'm to yeah. I'm keep it a stack. I think I was like nine when I saw... And I was able to Google my first set of tits. Yeah. Just well, put, yeah, this internet Google. age, these poor kids don't stand a chance. Oh, they're no, desensitized. They're, they're like, man, fucking, the, the phone. Yeah. They got Bukaki at 12. That's yeah, no that's, good. That's too much. Yeah. That's too much. I think about that. That's, that's too, too much. much. <laughs> yeah, I, I said this story before, but my friend, he watches so much and I grew up with him. And then like, he thought the scenarios were real of porn. Yeah, that's. So when the teacher would tell him to stay after class, like he thought, oh, she's about to fuck me. Oh shit! Like he was so now, now they are. Yeah, now they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's even more prevalent. So yeah. like that, I just imagine nowadays. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers to the teachers. It's funny. really it's funny because if it's like a, a a a guy in high school and a teacher, yeah, that was like my fantasy. That's every guy's yeah. fantasy. Yeah. And then they rat the teacher. I'm like, you're a bitch. Yeah. She yeah. gave you her good old titties, yeah. and you were sending her to jail. <laughs> But then if the roles reverse, if it's a female and a male teacher, I'm like, oh, you got to go to jail, bro. (laughs) You got to go to jail. That's wrong. It's weird how it's like that, right? It's just, I think just guys are more sexual even at that age. We're just like thinking about We're just horny our whole lives. It's really annoying, to be honest. As soon as your voice starts cracking, it's like... um, I thought that shit stopped like... (laughs) At least thirty five. This shit's just like constant. Hell no, bro. I, I got a kid now. It don't stop. No, bro. My grandpa. My <laughs> grandpa let me. He was like, "Hey, can you fix my phone? Like something's like fucked up on it, right?" And and he gives me his phone, and he's like this seventy five year old cat. Like 
he's up there, you know? Also, why the fuck do our grandpas now have smartphones? That's another thing. Yeah, yeah. My, my grandpa has a fucking smartphone. Shout out Obama. And he gives me his phone, and it, and it is. It's, like, fucking locked. I'm trying to fix it and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck was this guy looking at? And sure enough, I pull up his Google Chrome, just tits of all, <laughs> all shapes and sizes. Still got it. <laughs> and I was like, damn, that yeah. shit just doesn't go away, bro. He, he doesn't even a old. Viagra. He just uh, puts a jalapeno in his ass. <laughs> fucking <laughs> <a> jalaverga. <laughs> I was like, this yeah. motherfucker, bro. For yeah. real. Pito loco. I was like, thank God Big he didn't send, give this shit to my mom, bro. My mom would have fucking freaked the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. That's her father, you know? Do you think that's a Mexican thing, though? Like, being horny no, that long? Just, guys are just horny. Because I think that, like, I when I see, like, like why people like they're older and stuff i just can't imagine it like it's just like a well i didn't i didn't don't think come, my grandpa was like, capable of doing that shit either because my grandpa my grandpa straight up that was a pig bro like a pig bro like he'll make comments like he'll like he'll talk shit bro but like i i don't i don't know maybe it's just a different etiquette i guess it's like that cat just, calling and shit yeah like that just like permits that but like Honestly, like I just can't see it, bro. Like I obviously I think it's it might be like a cultural thing more than it is a fucking Nah, I think it's just God. I don't good. know. It's a lot of things. I think a lot of fools got molested. They don't even know and they're extra horny. Yeah. That's what you're spitting, bro. That's a whole ass conversation. But I was <laughs> we we've all had it outside the pocket. But that was but that was my fault because I was thick. Yeah. So I kinda <laughs> deserve so it for true. having a fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of had it coming, bro. <laughs> you were also wearing a schoolgirl outfit, yeah, bro. bro. I, maybe that nurse costume wasn't for me, but you know, you can't wear Britney Spears outfit, bro, <laughs> and not get molested. One more time. Fuck. So you're you're telling us a little bit about your childhood. Is your relationship with your dad like cool still, or? Yeah, we have family dinner dinner every Wednesday. Oh, okay, and I cuss him out and beat him up. <laughs> Payback's a bitch. <laughs> Papa, throw a hooker, a mm. hooker flyer at him. Like, yeah, now he's still just crazy. It's it's just that generational shit. Like his dad was nuts, and with believe it or not, he's he he's an improvement leaps and bounds from yeah. his daddy, and on and on it goes. And uh, yeah, you just got to do the work. It's just exhausting because it usually means like fucking therapy or ayahuasca or some shit yeah, yeah. Ayahuasca. i've done it 14 <laughs> times bro that's just awesome oh, you're counting is, yeah yeah well they were uh yeah it's not hard isn't there like a process though like you got to do like two different like trip like trips almost like a yeah it's a two-day retreat what i do and then uh um just to work i mean you don't have to do ayahuasca but you need to do if you're fucked up you got to do some some heavy lifting yeah mm -hmm. like if it some helps psycho assisted therapy some breath work some hypnotist some because i was in therapy eight years and that shit probably saved my life but then after two years it like did nothing mm. Mm. it was weird it was like stagnant yeah and then i was like this isn't doing it i can't yeah. just talk it out like i have to get it out and i follow that full gabor mate that fool's knowledge check him out um but yeah i feel like i got a lot of it out because i could talk about gnarly stuff and it doesn't i don't cry anymore how does that process work when when you're like i guess how how does the <clears throat> process work like what do you do like you like meditate and quiet your mind and if you don't quiet your mind you don't connect mm -hmm. and you're pretty much like ayahuasca if i could sum it up real quick it's like consciousness in a shot and it's trippy and you just go into different dimensions and literally relive traumas that happen to you, whether you're, um, you know, a victim of molestation or a Iraq war veteran or yeah. et cetera. And then you relive it and then you puke it out and then it's horrible. But then after maybe like three, five days, you, you heal. It's like a wound. Mm -hmm. You clean it out and then it scabs and you heal. But you're, you're fucked up for a little while. It's not for everybody how you consume that shit like it's just like a little a, syrup oh it's a syrup you got to like, do it with some indigenous fools though as it becomes more trendy on the tiktok that's what you I was know people ask ruin you. that shit are you doing like your mom like are you going i do it with South the America? shaman like I, uh a no casino? there's there's as it becomes more popular there's tribes popping up um and uh it's available in the area not like in the city but yeah 
like you know hour two hours out you can't really talk about it too much because then the feds come in those fucking oh, yeah, yeah. Those assholes don't want right. you to heal yeah they don't want you to heal Some bullshit. take this drug <laughs> take this pill that gives you 49 side effects yeah and I doesn't solve them. anything and just makes you take more pills just makes you hard <laughs> you mentioned you were 11 years sober now did you take Off narcotics ayahuasca? and alcohol uh, ayahuasca entered my life last year okay. and i've had profound benefits and breakthroughs yeah so when did you decide to like why did you decide to go sober ron white did it and he's a hero of mine and, and he got sober he he was an alcoholic for like 40 50 years this is a beast beast yeah. one of the greatest comics ever to fucking do it and he talked about it on rogan in your mom's house and i had always been interested in it and then when one of your heroes does it i was like i'm gonna follow suit because i've always struggled with drugs and alcohol and uh and you know and then uh, I was like, well, if he could get sober, I was already sober, but it's still like, you know, there's like pain. I don't know what it is. It's like, why do you do drugs to begin with and feel numb to yeah. pain? But were you even getting like fucked up like that or were you just on, you were just on shit? Oh no, I was fucked up. You was getting fucked oh up. yeah, dude. I was uh, uh, on Oxycontin and cocaine and alcohol, what, whatever was on the table. I mean, you don't smoke meth when you're happy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's like, my life's good. Give me the pookie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're fucking in Life pain, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I say this analogy a lot. I was like dumb enough to do all the drugs, but smart enough, like, like when me and my buddies, we we're doing d more heavier drugs and they started shooting heroin and shit. I just smoked it. But I, I like say like we we're swimming in the deep end, but I held on to the side of the pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just started floating away. And I'm like, no. Uh, and then I got out. Yeah, but yeah it's terrible. Yeah. What do you think was that thing, though, that's like holding you on the side of the pool? Because you could just go uh, off into the deep end, you know? Uh, The light, God, love, universe, whatever you want to call it. I just knew I had something in me to give to the world. And I was like, you can't just go out like that. Yeah. Even though when you're on opioids, it feels so good. You're like, yeah, I can. You know, <laughs> the fuck I can. Because yeah. I know. Yeah. I know like, it's warm in hell. <laughs> it's so warm. <laughs> fuck the light. Go the other uh, way. Yeah. Then she goes down smooth. Because <laughs> I was gonna say like. You're 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 nice sitting here with some saints either. You know we've also done our shit as well. Nobody's but, a saint if they yeah, say yeah. they are. They and got somebody in their for basement, it, bro. <laughs> no, but I was to say like when you've been in that moment, like I sometimes I you fucking think about I think because I I have I have good parents right, and I I think about them. I'm like fuck, I they would fucking hate to see yeah this you know there's there's no reason why the fuck you should be this fucked up yeah and then that's what makes you go like. I guess that guilt just kicks in. You're just like, fuck, I shouldn't be doing this shit. Yeah. That's good, though. That's yeah. your conscious. Conscience. I feel like you'll be that type of dad where you're like, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Your kid will be. The, that's another thing, too. Like, some kids, um, like, you know, the whole gentle parenting thing that exists nowadays. Um, do you think those kids benefit more from it? No. The, there's the coddle kids or the worst kids. I don't think you should beat your kid, yeah. but you should fucking be like, hey, fool, yeah. call him out. You're fucking up right now. You yeah, can't yeah. just be like, what did we learn from this? Yeah, <laughs> He's a kid. Not I, <laughs> you like, have to tell him that he fucked up, but don't be a psycho about it and yeah. traumatize him. Sleep in the closet. Just like, fuck. <laughs> but let him know, you know. My lady didn't have parents that like, my, my parents fucked me up, right? But my lady didn't have parents like that. And she was she was just telling me like oh when I would disappoint my daddy just it would hurt me so much I'm like what the fuck That's yeah so foreign to me you That's know on a daily I just got bro. my ass there's what? people that have their shit together me and this um, my my homie Brittany Schmidt she's very funny awesome comic and we were talking about because we're fucked up and uh, she's like how what how is he just good I'm like. He had good parents. He had a good childhood. <laughs> he wasn't molested. <laughs> that's just so shocking that's to us. Huh? It's nice. when we don't know that life. That? Yeah, that's just yeah. He shows so shocking to us and shit. Like, no way. You got hugs? I told oh, my mom, why the, the fuck? fuck you used to fuck me up so bad? Yeah. She'd be like, my mom used to throw breaks at me. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, fucking yeah. touche. Though. You know what? You <laughs> had a point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so my dad told me he used to, his punishment was to go hold bricks on the sun. Yeah. yeah. Until, until his hands went numb. 
Yeah. And if they went too low, like they would just they'd hit you again. Such gentle like, parents. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, is gentle that's parents. Kids are so weak. Huh? But that's uh that's how I mean that's not all right. That's bad. But now we can break the cycle. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. And that's the thing too. Like uh, I think Let's too, keep it going, bro. Now my yeah. dad has some killer traps. I don't know. He's <laughs> nah, I don't. Ain't no way I'm letting my kid be happy, bro. Like <laughs> No, but to your point how you what you were saying earlier, it was like, you know, imagine like his your dad's dad before him like how he was treating him so you're just trying to do better than the next generation yeah at all times and then you just hope your kid is gonna be you know a softer version of you you know and so we're all women you know yeah <laughs> she says no and that's the transhumanist agenda yeah. <laughs> alex, alex jones for president god, god is a woman they're making the frogs gay <laughs> <laughs> oh shit so you've gotten obviously what was the biggest jump you because i mean you're going crazy on social media right now like i feel like the clips you're one of the comics so the clips really like benefited how do you feel about um clip content nowadays i love it you don't need anybody you're your own man i like that all you need is click (laughs) yeah you don't need a manager you don't need an agent you don't need to even need a comedy club even though i love all the clubs like yeah uh (laughs) yeah God bless the comedy store and the improv and laugh factory. That shit's awesome. Mm-hmm. But you don't need anything anymore. You could just post funny content, blow up, sell tickets, be your own man. Mm-hmm. You don't need none of that shit. You don't need the Tonight Show. It is awesome and I want it and I will have it and I've gotten some of it. Uh, but you don't need it anymore. Yeah, You could yeah. be selling out theaters and not have done the Tonight Show or Netflix. It doesn't matter with the internet and YouTube. Yeah. You, you That's embraced freedom it. is you, what it is. It's freedom. So you embraced it well. Um, do you see like a lot of your colleagues that, you know, are uh, like around your age that embrace it well or do you see the opposite? I see both. I see the fools embracing it and then I f- see fools complaining. I'm like, no one is coming to get you. Yeah. yeah. You are your own man. You rise up. You build your shit. Yeah. They just complain. Like, this guy's got this. This guy's posting. Yeah. You're funnier than that guy, but he's doing theaters because you ain't doing shit. Mm-hmm. And that's on you. That's been right there. Stop being a negative, bitter beer face. <laughs> I can't, I have no <laughs> tolerance for that anymore. Yeah. Those complainers. I can't, well, no, f- then I'm a fan of Prince and I got his hoodie and on the sleeve it says, everything you uh, think is true. If you think I'm going to make it, I'm going to be on Netflix, I'm going to be a millionaire. It's true. It's manifestation. Yeah, manifestation. That shit is real. I'm living proof. I was like, I'm going to get sober, get into stand-up, and get that shit. And here we are. Damn. And if I didn't I say that, it. I'd be like, oh, I'm a drug addict. Oh, my booty hurts. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 oh, poor me. Uh, <laughs> so thin. No, I'm going to do ayahuasca and fight the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fighting the devil's crazy. I wouldn't raise yeah. no bitch, huh? Yeah. I just, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all about just going up, you know? Yeah. And I can't, I can't tolerate or stand fools. Just the, the, the wallower, you know. The I woe is me, yeah. It's, everybody talks about it. Just that I can't catch a break, fools. And it's like, when you when it's your friends, it sucks, though. But I'd be just telling them, because I was that before I got sober and before therapy and ayahuasca and getting it. Mm-hmm. We all were that, you, you know? Yeah. Nobody just starts off that way. Yeah. Right. You just learn. You just so, oh, I notice when I speak highly of myself and I'm kind to myself, life's easier and better. Right. When I'm saying, oh, you fucking suck, you piece of shit, you don't deserve this. Is What is that going to do? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like weeds. Lot. It's like weeds. You got to pull the weeds out. You know? I also seen the opposite, though, too, where it's like uh, them kind of like digging themselves a little bit. <clears throat> into into like a pit of despair almost sometimes brings out the best of certain like individuals like people that end up being coming like obsessed with it you know like who who like just in general but like we talk about like some of the greatest like for example an athlete like uh michael jordan or something or mike tyson like you got to be obsessed and and think no that wasn't good enough like i'm not i'm not there's a balance though i agree uh those fools were always teetering on greatness they're like when you're so neurotic i know extremely funny comics that are some of the best but they're so neurotic no one wants to be around them you don't want to be that Mm -hmm. yeah 
Like, I know Michael Jordan's the GOAT, but anybody that worked with him said he was, like, the biggest asshole monster <laughs> in the world. And they don't really say that because he's the GOAT, but everybody knows it's true. Yeah. Like, everything's edited to make him look good when you know he was a maniac. Yeah. And he is the GOAT, and he's still my favorite, and I think he's better than LeBron, but, like, maybe just a little less of that, you know? Like, yeah. you don't have to ruin a guy's yeah. life. They always say, like, the best always has to be a little crazy and shit. Yeah. It's like, fuck, that's a little too much. But yeah. It, but it is what it Kobe is. Kobe was like that too. But oh, yeah. I understand it to a certain extent because I'm basically starting to understand it now because when you start hustling and getting it, if anybody's not doing what I'm doing, I don't want to be around them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to be mean to them. It's just like, but I love any hustler. Like whether you're two years in or 22 years in, I'm like, oh, he he's he's let's go he's on it let's yeah. fucking go there's move <laughs> i just like yeah. i like the movers and shakers yeah. and i vibe with them and anybody not doing that i'll and if i like them and i think they're funny i'll be like just do this shit mm -hmm. just post yeah and then yeah there's this one uh i'm learning lessons i'm not gonna name names but i was doing the laugh factory and he was emceeing and he's a, he's a genius and he's written on shit and he's so funny but he's got like two thousand followers Mm. and he's like man i want to be like you and i'm like you and i just told him like you can be film everything post everything you're a comical genius yeah and he literally like took it and was like yeah you're right you know like yeah. it's mm. not rocket science yeah you buy a fucking camera you film it you post it yeah and if you're funny it'll catch on yes yeah. and if you, and that feels funny as shit yeah we were low-key we were talking about that a little bit on the way over here yeah uh dreams and i how we're, we're talking about this other creator right and he was he was he helped them do something he was like oh like let's try to post at this time and if you collaborate at this time blah, blah, blah. i'm like that's too much i'm like i don't think there's really a science or like a there people think too much into it. i just think bit. like if it's good it'll do well that's yeah all I, that's, I just follow that rule like if it's good people are gonna know it's good and they're gonna follow it if they don't think it's good you're fucked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree with what you're saying, but unfortunately, these stupid algorithms and shit, like I wouldn't post it at like 4 a.m., you know, oh, I, yeah, like, yeah, like maybe like 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah. But I don't pay attention to that till enough because that, that's the, like the minutia that'll make you go nuts. Yeah. And it's like, I just post. I just, I actually just hired a guy to post. I just say funny shit. I'm like, here's money, post my shit. <laughs> I don't gotta do shit. Hell just, yeah. Just yeah. play with my son and my cats. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Poor cats. Life. But yeah, that's it. That's all it is. These fools overcomplicate everything. Just have fun. Film it, post it. Hell yeah. Is there a time when you're doing comedy and it wasn't fun? I got a little bitter for a minute because I was killing it for a while and nothing was happening. Mm. And then I started to like wallow in that. But then I uh I checked myself was like bro you're doing shows at the comedy store the yeah. greatest club in the world like like how many people could say they yeah yeah I, you, you take that shit for granted and it's weird i talked about it on my podcast but it's like chasing a girl like hey like i love you let's go on a date and then you you you, you, you overdo it and they're like no yeah. but if you play it cool she's like hey yeah, yeah. it's just like that with your career in your ass like yeah, oh, yeah. Dude, he got molested <laughs> look at that crap, bro. look at that <laughs> sick <laughs> fool you need ayahuasca bro <laughs> i am ayahuasca <laughs> that's my middle name <laughs> and uh and then you just like because every time i've ever gotten it like i just got past at the store uh uh, last year and i would like fester like oh i want it i want it and then like something just switched to me because i was killing it on the road and making money and blowing up on the internet i was like man who cares yeah. you don't need that shit and then oh here you go yeah. isn't that funny yeah it's, it's always uh, like that oh it's kind of like to your point yeah that's that's yeah. true though like about it's, love the whole thing too like you you know you get it when it comes to you yeah Sorry. it's it i don't care if you're a lawyer or real estate a comic a podcast it like it's just weird. It happens like that. Yeah. When yeah, you just yeah. chill out and let it flow. Yeah. There's a couple of times, like, obviously, like, uh, in this podcast space, like, 
you feel like you're you're doing the right things and then like nothing happens for a while and then you're just like well, i reached out to sponsors i've reached out to people guests and stuff and then like a clip will hit but you still do it out of love because you love to be here yeah but you feel like you've earned more you know not deserve like oh i got in the space i deserve this like you've earned you put in the work and then like one day just like a clip hits crazy and like then the numbers come in and then like the sponsors will come in right after like oh they you know they just they, they see big numbers and like oh that's a market yeah there. and it's like it's almost like life has an algorithm, huh? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly yeah. Like and it's, it's an always like algorithm. this. It can never just be. Yeah. I think life's more like this. Like, even though it's a roller coaster and we think it's going this way, I think it's going up. If you pay attention. Yeah. And don't just completely check out and be a fucking zombie. You know, <laughs> and when that yeah. happens, it's you see funny it. though, but like, yeah. it, it, it's crazy though, like just being in this space that sometimes you don't want the numbers to validate you, but they kind of do. They do make you feel better when they shouldn't. That's the system we live in, yeah, though. You know, it, it, it is frustrating because when it's good, you're like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then when it's not, you're like, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what I, yeah. it's a love-hate thing. And people try to tell you, like, nah, like, don't worry about the numbers. Like, yeah, but it is about the fucking numbers, you know? That's, yeah. There's so many stories, though. I mean, uh, I watched a lot of clips Seth Rowan was talking about Ian McKellen, Gandalf. I don't know yeah. how to, his full name, but he says, like, I didn't know who that guy was until he was, like, 65. Yeah. John That's Hamm true. didn't make it till he's 40. Yeah. Rogan was doing a podcast, like, that, that no one was watching, and now he's probably a billionaire. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh it's just crazy. Mark Marin was doing his podcast in his garage and now he's had presidents on. Yeah. Yeah. It's like crazy. just put in the work. It's possible. That's what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Like just Joey keep Diaz. Going. Joey just, Diaz is like an ex criminal. He, ki- he was in prison yeah. for kidnapping a man with a machine gun. Uh, kidnapping a drug dealer with a machine gun. That's a man right <laughs> <Yeah>. there. That's <laughs> a man. That's a man, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, <laughs> and uh, now he's uh, truly one of the most beloved, respected comedians on the, in the world. Yeah. yeah. Who's, who's a guy that for you, I know you mentioned Ron White <laughs> earlier, but. That Joey you, Diaz. Joey Diaz. Well, I didn't even let you finish your question, but <laughs> is that it? He called me Tarzan at the comedy store, and my fucking heart melted. Yeah. I, was like, ah, I love you, fool. One <laughs> family. <laughs> I love it. I love uh, Bill Burr, Pete Holmes. There's so many. Yeah. Bill Burr, that's, that guy's a fucking awesome guy. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've seen him live a few times. Oh, he's so good. Yeah, fuck yeah. He's, a, he's feel, one of the best. Uh, being on your podcast. Oh, dude, I, I honestly, I wish I could do it again because my jaw was open the whole time. I, <laughs> I was so nervous. Were you bro. intimidated about yeah, it? Yeah, it's the it's, fucking goat, bro. Because you know he's going to just, as soon as you say some shit, that's just like, what the fuck you mean by that? And it's just No, like, but not <laughs> at the dynamic, you know, he, Yeah. I mean, I'm not an open micer, but compared to him, I'm an open micer. Yeah. And like, so he took care of me. Okay. I think he'll pounce when it's more at equal levels. Like he'll yeah. make fun of Rogan and say your little rascal yeah. had that clip, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he'll do that to the lower levels because he knows <laughs> it'll destroy <laughs> us. <laughs> like, I'm gonna kill myself now. <laughs> Bilber doesn't like me anymore. Uh, go to, yeah, when the, I know that's what Theo Vaughn was talking yeah. about. Yeah, oh know? Theo, I fucking yeah. love that fool. That's a hero. He's the only headliner that called me when I got fired from Trader Joe's, dude. That's how <laughs> sweet that Joe's. man is. That's funny. That's He's like, hey man, I hope you're all right. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Why did you get fired at Trader Joe's? Uh, maybe about five years ago, I farted on my manager, and I, <laughs> and I, I filmed it and posted it on Instagram, and it went viral. Uh, and then corporate saw it, and yeah. then corporate was like, fire that fool. That's American dream, right? Yeah. There. <laughs> and it set, it set me on, free. Man. Here we are, West Side. Come on, Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Saying West Side after, after a drive-by fart is crazy. Trader Joe's. Oh, Bobby wild. Lee. Of course, Bobby Lee. I love that fool. I open for him, and he's a hero. Yeah. That fool's the man. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. What's I the What's fun. the one message that you always want to get across, like in your material and shit? Uh, I talk about drugs a lot and some of these fools think I'm glorifying it, but the message is get sober, get out. You're going to die. You're yeah, going yeah. to fucking die, man. Get out. Yeah. Better yourself. Yeah. It's, it's weird because it's scary, the reality, but there's also, there's a, there's a comedic factor. I think that what sets your material apart from other comedians is like, there's a, 
hilarity to it in a way like almost like it i'm not trying to sound like super deep or anything but basically like you you mess around with it in a certain way that it's like i don't i don't really see too many comics doing it that way yeah i i thank you bro i i just try to tell them basically all my true stories and they're kind of insane you know <laughs> and then uh with the silver lining of get out better yeah get better because when you're in that dark place i like spreading that message because when i was down in the depths of hell i didn't even know you could get out and then when you get out yeah. i was like oh shit i was in there yeah yeah like you, you know what i mean yeah that's normal mm -hmm. yeah and then when you get out and got sober because this uh, tweaker fool i knew got sober and i was like what like you put down the pookie <laughs> you traitor <laughs> i know and then I, but i was like if he could do it i could do it uh -huh. so i guess that's my message if i could do it you could do it yeah because when you see this fool was spun out of his fucking mind yeah. alcoholic meth you know yeah and then he was sober like two years and i'm like what <laughs> you, <laughs> you know uh because i didn't know that was possible i didn't even know sobriety was a fucking thing dude and then i knew i had a problem because it's just in, in, arrest incidents kicked out of houses homes not let into friends houses anymore and they're like uh -uh, uh -uh, you're too crazy craig yeah. if you said the story though as like just that it'd be so hard to be like how can this be funny but y you managed to do that and shit like that's that's more that's more what i was trying to say uh -huh. earlier was like you were already making it a difficult task by having a dark subject matter, but then making it hilarious at the same time. I like, that's yeah, awesome, that's man. that real shit. That's yeah. what, like, so I, that's what, that's my tribe, all the fucking, the dark, this, the weirdos, the, <laughs> the, the, the skeezies, you know, or the junkies. That's my you, people, bro. You felt right at home when he opened up Mother Station, huh? Yeah. I was like, I was like, me too. All West side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we for the three feet. Shout out, Brown Boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I I heard uh, on your podcast, I believe it was you had said a story about like um, to kind of sum up like who you were as a person. You were like, I think your homie stomped you on a curb or some stuff. Oh yeah, I got I got beat up and I had it coming. He stepped on my face in the in the gutter. Mm -hmm. I couldn't chew for a week, bro. I had to eat soup and <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. But that whole day's crazy. That whole like story. Yeah, I was out of my mind. You know, I yeah. said the story like, I mean, I guess I could say all of it, but I got my face stomp and I called him and apologized to him. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, you got a drug and alcohol problem when you yeah. get jumped and yeah. not even jump one guy yeah. <laughs> uh I'm and, sorry you're, and you you're like hey man i'm i'm sorry i made you stomp me bro <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah just, just i was just tired of that life and uh yeah i was just spun out and pills and powders and alcohol and mm -hmm. i didn't have comedy yet and i like adrenaline and making people laugh and that gets weird and dark when you're on cocaine, oxycotton, and alcohol, you know, and shit, you know. Now I know how to do it because that's what I do. Yeah. But before that, it was just like, oh, I'm going to go on that roof, you know. <laughs> and, you know, I, yeah, I'll tell that story. Yeah. We just went to my buddy's wedding. I went on, I was on fucking cocaine and pills and it was open bar. I was like still in cheese wheels and logs and shit. Just stupid. Yeah. It's my friend. He also, <laughs> he's, he's like, you can have it. You know, I'm fucking putting it. <laughs> <laughs> just hoarding this shit. It's like yeah. my, my tia at yeah. fucking just our family parties where she's hoarding the birria and shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are you doing? You can have it at the end of the party. <laughs> I end up on that fool's roof and everyone's like, I'm ruining the wedding, you know. Yeah. Then it's we go a to a wedding. bar. Yeah, dude. Oh, a little important detail. <laughs> oh I my God. Yeah, bro. Oh, you're yeah. out of your I mind. I didn't get invited to weddings for like a cool decade after <laughs> this what? one. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. I didn't know. It's a crime to be know. yourself. It's a crime to be yourself. I wasn't in therapy yet. <laughs> I wasn't sober. <laughs> And then we go to this bar, but it was like a holiday weekend. It was like Memorial Day or certain 4th of July in Hermosa. And it was called FFF, Fat Face Finners. And there was, it's an upstairs bar, two-story bar. And there was a line to get in around the block. And that was the, the least line. And I'm so twacked out. I'm with a group of people. I don't even tell them. I'm in my head, I'm like, I'm getting in. I go behind into the alley. I climb up like a pipe, a chimney. 
I go on the roof. This is a bar. Dude. This is a, this is a, this, there's like 400 people in this bar. Yeah. yeah. And I jump off the, the bouncers like, Hey, get down from there. They're chasing me <laughs> and I'm up, I'm up high enough. They can't get my legs. I'm like, fuck you. I'm on a pipe cussing out the bouncers. I go on the roof. I jump off into a crowd of people, spill drinks everywhere. <laughs> they the? choke me out. They fuck me up. They throw me down the stairs. I come down all like scuffed up and bloody. And my friends were like, what happened? You know? And I was like, and then I wait in line to go in after that. And they're like, yeah, you went in line. A fucking lunatic, bro. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go and in there. And the bouncers were like, get out of here. We're calling the police. Then I was like, hey, we got to go to another bar. <laughs> and then I got kicked out of another bar. I don't even know what I did there. And then we go to this place called Union Cattle. It changed its name in Hermosa Beach. It's a two story bar. And I get in this one. But I'm upstairs at the bathroom and I'm wetting toilet paper and throwing it down at people dancing. And this is going to slap. And I'm fucking like, ah, 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 you know? <laughs> and then I get kicked out, but I'm fucking crazy. And I sneak back in, but they catch me and then they throw me in the bushes. Yeah. And I'm fucking like, ah, you know? And then I, and then this is what I'm not proud of. I get, I turn a little psycho and I see some beer balls. I start throwing them at the bouncers. Dude. These are big motherfuckers, bro. They're like six six. Yeah. I'm me, you know. <laughs> but I, I'm like, you know? <laughs> and I'm just chucking the glasses. And then they chase me. And then I'm quick. I run. But my buddy stayed, and he almost got his ass whooped by like Damn. a football team, pretty much. <laughs> and I didn't know that. So later, my buddy picks me up. And I'm in the backseat of a Infinity uh, G35 two door, and my homies are right here. But my homie, who almost got beat up because of me and my actions, mm -hmm. I don't know. He's mad at me, so he like hit me, and I hit him back. But then it turned real, and we're fist fighting in the car. And my buddy's driving, and he pulls over. And two door Infinity G35, bro. And we're yeah. fucking bam, bam, bam. And you're in the back. Of a I'm coupe. in the back <laughs> of a cool fucking bam. He's pulling my hair, going boom, boom. And my buddy Luke, he pulls over, and uh, and then it, and then uh, I'm going to get out to fight this fool, but he just pulls me out, and my head's in the gun, and he goes, God, oh. and I go, Kah. and then everyone got quiet, and he just like walked off, and then my buddy picked me up, and then he drives me home, but I'm so coked up. I end up like running back to his house trying to fight that fool. And they're like, Craig, go home, bro. Go home. You've done enough. <laughs> Anyways. <Fuck>. Uh, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> You're nuts. What the fuck? Yeah, no shit, motherfucker. Why do you, you think I'm in therapy doing ayahuasca? <laughs> 14 times in a year. Yeah, dude. I'm trying uh, to get rid of this shit. Nobody wants this. Oh, shit. I don't want that life. Bro. I want to get healed. Did you better. ever think at some point that I'm just going to, like, I'm going to stay like this? Like, I'm going to. Yeah. Like, I thought I'd be dead. You're going to lose your mind. Or in maybe. jail or that's whatever. What I, that's what I wanted to ask because I have an uncle who's fucking off his rails and I've told him, like, I've, I've talked to him, like, hey, bro, you're. The path you're going down, it's like, you're going to die soon. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. He, told, he looked me dead in there. He's like, I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, well, you're, about to, you're about to make a lot of people sad, brother. Like if you, That's just, how much pain he's in. He yeah. doesn't even care. He doesn't care. And he has a son and a ex-wife now, but it's sad, you know? It's, it's sad usually the kid will change you. If a kid won't change you, I don't know what will, man. Well, the kid doesn't want to talk to him anymore. Well, yeah, so obviously. Like, yeah. But I mean, like, and that he, he that's what should like, have changed him. He says shit like, well, he doesn't want to talk to me. I don't give a fuck. And it's just like, damn, you just, you're far gone, you know? Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. So I, so I was like, I, was, I wanted to ask you, like, at that point of your life where you, you just didn't give a fuck if you died? Not really, no. I wouldn't say I was suicidal, but I was so self-destructive that I welcomed death. Like, I ran from police and had guns drawn on me two three times you were like passive suicidal That's yeah i couldn't do it myself but i would do so much drugs like i took like 18 norks and slept fuck yeah, that's basically, basically slept suicide. like a, a fucking day or two days and my mom had to wake me up you know like yeah. wake up <laughs> i was like oh shit that was a good nap <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was so dark bro it was awful Damn. it was terrible do you remember the day that you made the switch I always, um, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> all right, we don't have to talk about it. We don't got to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We don't have to talk about that. Well, those like 50, 60 rock bottoms, you know, you just get tired of it. You get tired. I always had a good heart and a conscience, and I would call people and apologize. like, who do I have to apologize? Say, hey, hey, Lulu, I'm sorry I threw that hot dog in your face. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
and it just fucked up shit, you know? Yeah, and yeah. you just get over it because you're just like, that's not me. Yeah. I guess that's what it was. I was so sick of actions that weren't me. Sober Craig, I would never do any of this shit. Never, ever. But fucking cracked out Craig, this shit got wild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit got mm-hmm. wild, and I hated that. Cause I am a I'm a wild motherfucker, but like now I'm wild with comedy in a in 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 a, in a light manner and you know, of the light, healthy manner, not of the darkness. Yeah, yeah. Of the demon shit. Yeah, yeah, Damn. yeah. And it's so crazy. It's two sides to, of every coin. Yeah, and to hear all that shit, shit like that you went through <laughs> and like the person you were, it's crazy. Like now, like when you walk in a room, like you first of all you knew Mark. <laughs> like it's, it's like it's cool to like. I'm sure people back then, when like, you walked in, you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, man. yeah. But now it's like, you're, you're like. Now I'm like, celebrated and instead yeah, yeah. of like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're just <laughs> like that. Lock the door. <laughs> hey, that is true, though, huh? When you're at a party and then yeah. somebody walks in and you're just like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. They just changed the whole dynamic of, yeah. of the party. You start like, oh. hiding all your valuable like, shit. <laughs> yeah. I never was a thief, yeah. though. I mean, I stole one butterfly knife. <laughs> one. From one. a party. One. It was a knife. He <laughs> left it out. Like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Um, that was, uh, there's so many rock bottoms, but it was like, uh, I remember going to a house party and it was all my friends, like, like best friends since forever. And they said, you can't come in. And that I was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. We know them 10, 15, 20 years. And they're like, uh, -uh, uh, uh, uh. And then, but that back then I wasn't awake enough. I blame them. These fucking pussies. <laughs> yeah. They don't know how to party. Let me smoke <laughs> smoke this heroin real quick and show them what, how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> These fucking yeah. pussies. Yeah. I'm crying on a swing set in Torrance. <laughs> just by myself on high on dope. Be like these guys don't get it. And like, no, bro, it's fucking you. Yeah, it's you, psycho. Fast forward to now though. Now you got four cats. Yeah, yeah. four cats and a kid. I got an ocean view. I drive a Lexus. That's I got a career. Cool. Did that help you repair a lot of relationships? Like doing going down this road now? Uh, yeah. No, I mean, those uh, relationships are kind of severed forever, but it's different now. When I run into them, it's love. Yeah. And it, it will never be what it was, but it's like when I see them, we're both happy to see each other now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's, cel- it's back to celebration. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, I'm glad you turned it around. Yeah, I'm glad you life because they saw they. I was gonna die, bro. Yeah. I was gonna fucking die. Yeah, yeah. I was Is gonna it, go ahead, go ahead. No, you're okay, you're fine. Okay, um, damn, for you just took it. All right, for sure. I gave you the chance. <laughs> no, but like now, like you said, you <laughs> you're a family man now for a weekend, eleven days in. Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. Two weeks. Do you think that? Because one one thing that I've talked about with my boys is like none of us have kids, right? So whenever we want to hang out, we just kick it. And we have a good time, you know, but like now one day we're going to have our families. I'm, I'm wondering like if, if these days are limited. They are for sure. It changes everything. I mean, it won't if they have kids at the same time and then it just turns into a different kind of party. Yeah. But like immediately it's like, oh, but it's fine. It's like, I don't care. I'm old enough. Like if I was 22, if I'm being honest, I would hate it because I'd be like, oh, I'm missing out. Yeah. That FOMO shit. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I want to stay home. Yeah. I don't want to drive to Hollywood, but yeah. I did it for y'all because I love y'all. <laughs> That's you. where we're at I appreciate now. That. We, we appreciate that. <laughs> no, it's like, it just, just, it changes. It just changes. Mm-hmm. It's funny because we kind of had that realization. Last year we went to EDC, like thinking we're still like these fucking young guys, like we're going to go party and shit. Most of, well, he only did one day. I did too. It and just by changes. Oh, halfway through it, I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. And yeah, you're like, I need a nap. <laughs> yeah, literally. This I was is like, fucking Let's. dumb. I was like, we were like, are I we going to do this again? Yeah. It's like, fuck no, bro. That, that's <laughs> I it. went to Coachella seven years in a row, and now it seems like a nightmare to me. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> are you fucking nuts? You can't pay me to go there. Yeah, yeah, fuck no. Yeah, it's different now. It just switches. You just grow up. And those fools that don't, it's like weird. It's yeah. like you're 50 on Molly at Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> you missed Give it. Grip. Do it at 20, you fuck. <laughs> fucking, you're fucking weird, bro. At 50, just <laughs> fucking <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> himself. Just grinding on some dude. <laughs> just, it up. just fucking grow up. Yeah, I feel like those people, some of those people too, though, are people who like went too hard on the books. 
like their oh, whole yeah. 20s and shit. And That's then they, why you got to do drugs in your 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the books. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your career. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's... uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the answers, but like, yeah, shit just changes and you just don't miss shit. You think your whole... My whole life was drugs and alcohol and like when I got sober, I'm like, what do I do? You know, I don't know. And I, th- I found comedy, thank God. There's no temptress in that, though, like uh, in being in the comedy scene, because most of this shit's in bars. Most of this shit, you know. Sometimes. Not anymore. I don't really go to bars because they give me anxiety. Yeah. It's like, if if you're a vegan, why are you going to the carniceria? Hey. <laughs> um, you know? Yeah. It's like, what are you, what yeah. are you doing there? You, you don't you're, drink. If you're straight, why are you at the gay club? Yeah. That means you're gay. Yeah, key, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, Not what? That there's That's anything what it means? wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, no, because with comedy, there's so many. Hey, it's a revolving door of sober and uh, relapsers, yeah. you know. Yeah. Very few are just regular. I hear that a lot. Like, uh, I know Bobby Lee talks about it a lot on his podcast. Yeah, shit's uh, hard, man. Yeah, I think he even started like a group, right? Like, of yeah. AA I went shipping. to the, that those meetings. Yeah, they help. He's, okay 12 step programs helps where like, do you fuck i don't know because sometimes i think like we drink too much and then there's days where i think like we don't drink we enough. don't drink that much but is that a, a sign too i'm a realist like i i realize that motherfuckers gotta do something so i just preach mushrooms mm. fucking yeah. micro dose macro dose all of a sudden that beer will start looking like the devil and you won't want it anymore. <laughs> Even though I used to drink, get shit faced and eat mushrooms and just laugh. But that was before, that was like old Craig, you know. What's a good dose for a beginner? Um, I mean, I used to just eat like two G's, see how it goes and then go from there. Fuck. But I've eaten like a quarter. Damn. When, but I was like 15 or 16 and I just wanted to go to Cuckoo's Town. Yeah. <laughs> you know you just want to see Toontown for it a little bit? too much, bro. I was a vegetable. Yeah. I was stuck on a bench for like five hours. I couldn't move. Yeah. It was like a war in the sky. The trees were turning into dragons. I projectile vomited in front of this poor little family. I felt oh, bad. Shit. I'm just, uh, but I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, All up. my buddies ran. Yeah. <laughs> we're in a group and then I was puking like the exorcist They're like i'm fucking out of here and i couldn't move i was a vegetable bro yeah and of course the time i ate that much because we did it the previous week and it wasn't that strong so i was like let's eat a lot and then this batch was like some fucking strong ass yeah. shit <laughs> bro my buddy is six three like 200 and he ate the same amount of me and he was puking his guts out and i was like 130 140 <laughs> yeah little twink 15 year old is <laughs> nah. <laughs> But that was like, I preach mushrooms because I know how hard it is and I know motherfuckers don't have to do drugs, but they, you know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of have to. Nobody yeah. has to, but I get it. Sometimes that eventually need, someone's going some, to try It's better than it. pills, powders, alcohol. Natural. It's of God. You go to nature. <laughs> it's the first time. It's natural. Yeah. It goes yeah. on the earth. Um, First time I ever had thoughts of bettering myself was on mushrooms. Cause oh, I was okay. like, oh, I'm going to get sober. I'm going to go home. I'm going to hug my mommy and tell my lover. And then immediately they wear off and I go cop pills or powders and shit. Because yeah. I was just wasn't ready yet. I feel like I don't want to do them shits because they're going to tell me my truth. Yeah. You know? That's what the point. Yeah, fuck That's that. That's why though. I preach it. Yeah, fuck that. You ever, okay, you, keep, you ever, keep, <laughs> keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> get a DUI. No, you get, ever done that get, shit? A, get a manslaughter. Yeah. Yeah. You ever done that shit and then you're like, fuck, I don't hug my mom enough and like i don't want to be in that fucking world you know but that's all right it's it's the mirrors showing you what you need to work on Fuck the that's why i bro. preach it yeah but it, even like a drug addict will ruin mushrooms they'll eat it all day every day and <laughs> fucking yeah greg's not there no more you ever done that shit and got on stage? <laughs> you ever gone on stage after it that's no i mean i've micro dosed uh but that's like point two and it's like nothing that helps just keep the the peace anxiety and stuff um i actually ate like my last time tripping i'd maybe done stand up like three times and me and my buddy eat like two three grams of mushies and we're in hollywood and i walk by a comedy show a best fish taco that one over there yeah. on the east side and i never done that show and i, I this is like 12 years ago yeah. and i'm high on mushrooms and i knew the guy i met him one time i was like 
hey, I'm on mushrooms. Let me do some time. And he's like, no. <laughs> and I'm so grateful he said no because I'm scared now. Yeah. And I'm trained. <laughs> yeah. Like, what would I have done up there? Yeah. I, Shout out Theo. I know he did a <laughs> He did a bunch and dude, filmed that it. That shit, I was there once and they started fucking with the lights. <laughs> and he's like... Am I? Is that happening? I'm yeah, we're no. fucking dying, bro. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Comics do it. I'm scared of that shit. That shit's scary sober. I don't need anything else. Yeah. Like maybe a micro, but that's point two. Yeah. Point two versus two G's. That's <laughs> that's crazy to me. My yeah. boy did it for the first time this year in front of a sold out crowd at the Ontario Improv. On mushroom. No, 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 no. Oh, Just shit. stand up oh, okay, for the okay, first yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah, it's the best. Is there is there anything you give my boy advice <laughs> on? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I get chin checked outside. <laughs> I guess he, he stops me out on the curb. But you should just go up there and be like, West Side. West Side. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, it's hard, but it's the best. It is. Yeah. yeah. That high was a different. Yeah. Making natural happy. high yeah no drugs just adrenaline yeah ego <laughs> that's like, that's like, i heard you i heard you uh say something about like um you're talking about like earth and mushrooms and it made me think of this uh there's this thing that you call like it's called grounding like being one yeah that's just real what, what what is that about just put your dick in the soil, bro. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. That's jokes. That's jokes. I mean, just literally. holes everywhere. Just, <laughs> oh, fuck. Literally, that electrical outlet has two prongs and a third one. The third one's a ground, and that's to ground it to the earth so a shit doesn't light on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, th and th there's science behind this shit. I don't know the whole technicalities on it, but if you're inflamed, if you have arthritis, if you're hurt, we're supposed to walk barefoot on the earth. We're supposed to get the uh, the Earth is an electromagnetic being, and we're elect. We're also you can look Electron. this shit up. I forgot all the science, but it's called the Google it right now. Somebody help me out. The the Gersh pulse. There's some scientists discovered the Earth has a pulse, and if you lay on it for like 20 minutes a day, it just helps you. It helps with inflammation, and there's tons of studies on this. This isn't no hippie woo woo shit. Oh, sure. I you're just getting my interpretation <laughs> of it. <laughs> yeah. But on top of that, it just feels good to be in nature with your bare feet on the soil. I could do a lot of beach walks, and it calms your mind. And uh, and you could just Google this shit because there's so many benefits from it. Yeah. But literally, buildings have to be grounded. Electricity has to be grounded, and we're no different. And we were wearing rubber soles and they don't, you know, rubber is an insulator. You yeah. don't get grounded. And uh, what's the pulse called again? I'm not exactly sure. This just kind of try looking it up too. Just Google Earth's, Earth's pulse. Earth's pulse. Okay. Earth's frequency or whatever. It makes sense though. Cause I know like if you're, if you don't get the <laughs> enough sunlight. Yeah. We need sun. We need yeah. nature. We need this shit. Yeah. It's crazy how much better do you feel if you just go on a fucking hike? Yeah. Does the fact that the earth has a pulse every 26 seconds was discovered in the early 1960s. The pulse was first recorded by American seismologist Jack Oliver, who, among other things, did important work in the development of theory of plate tectonics and worked on recording atomic. It doesn't pulse. say the name of it. it I guess Not the exactly. name doesn't matter. Every 26 seconds, there's a doom doom. Um, yeah, this shit's real. This oh, hippie shit. shit. Everybody makes fun of it, but it's fucking. There's literally. Einstein studying yeah. this shit. It's not. I literally download their data and then I don't know how to translate yeah. it. You know, I'm like, God. Yeah. <laughs> I. But it's real. It's not no hippie woo woo it fairy tale. It makes sense though. I mean, I know. I don't do. I haven't done it in a long time. But whenever you just go outside and then if you were barefoot and you just touch the grass, it feels. It just good. feels good. Yeah, it, it just feels so. It good. does feel good. Yeah, I, I mean, even if you don't believe in it, it just feels good. Yeah, but they do study seven point eight three hertz, Earth's heartbeat. It has a name. What's the fucking name? Sponsored by Kicker West Side. <laughs> <laughs> when did I just throw that in? The Schumann resonance. There it is, Schumann. That fool uh, um, named it. Anyways, uh, they even sell um, grounding sheets that just have little copper wire in it. And you put it underneath your sheets and you plug it into the ground, just the third hole, not the electric. You know, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it grounds you. And they've done studies that helps old people with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I see. I can't talk. <laughs> helps with arthritis, inflammation, all sorts. It calms your mind. We're inflamed beings. That makes sense. 
Because we eat too much junk and shit. Yeah. Processed. Yeah. yeah. It's just wild shit. I love it, though. And just go lay on the fucking beach. You feel better. Yo, and, what's your diet like? Do you oh, like I struggle. Special? No, I, uh, I'm, I eat. I'm trying not to eat pork because... Dude, pork's the devil. I don't know what's is in it? that shit. I love that it's, shit. Yeah, terrible. no shit. Me it's too. It's fire. hard, dude. It's yeah. full of parasites. I'll send you some shit. It'll just ruin it, bro. <laughs> no, it's it's ruin it. Good, bro. <laughs> Thanks. It'll I ruin it. I know. I just like, I'm a human. I like to experience everything. So like, instead of eating it every day, you know, okay, once a month, once yeah. a week. Yeah. But I can't fucking, bro. What about store? Come on. With a little pineapple uh, on top. Uh, <laughs> it's the yeah. best. Uh, you pizza? think the grass makes you feel good, bro? Al pastor yeah. makes you feel really <laughs> Going in and then the demons come out the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 16 uh, al pastor tacos. I mean, oh, yeah. shit. I feel like I got to get into some of that. But just just balance. Like, okay, you eat al pastor, so eat a gang of pineapple and papaya and melon and get rid of that shit. You know, yeah. like we, we just do overdo everything. We just eat the whole pig. And it's like yeah. mix in some fiber. For real. <laughs> some fucking fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Just balance, you know. I'm, we're ever, human. We you gotta, ever look at a bacon western cheeseburger and you're like, damn, they really combine two animals. Yeah, yeah that's, delicious. That's, that's, that's it's good, but it's so bad. Yeah. But that's that too much. Yeah, like, that's too much. Like I'm fine eating meat, but the way we do it here and the mass industrialization of it and how dirty it is, it's so. Fun. Like, I want that, that grass fed is. rancher shit, that rich Joe Rogan shit. Yeah, start hunting out. Yeah, <laughs> where the chickens are raised yeah. right. That's normal. They read them that, bedtime stories. Yeah, and yeah. Tuck them in and get <laughs> pasture raised. <laughs> we got these fucking prison population. Dude, that shit looks mass rough. Vac- you seen them vaccine the chickens? The little. Th- yeah. You seen those videos? You're like, yeah. oh, yeah, you know, we eat on. that shit. Yeah, our chickens got triceps. So. Yeah. so you know why they started giving all the people, the the people, the animals medicine is because Wingstop. the conditions were so shitty. They started getting disease. So instead of just fixing the conditions of fecal matter and shit in prison, they just inject. Make they them, make it worse. Yeah. Instead make, of just letting them run a lap. So you're yeah. getting like secondhand They Medicaid. need time on the yard. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Put them on a treadmill. The lifers, yeah. No, I saw a clip on fucking, uh, on X now, whatever, Twitter, um, of this chicken farm and just how fucking huge it is. And I, I never really realized how much food we consume. Like, think about how many people live just even here in California. Yeah. You know how many fucking chickens? Nobody needs kill? a twenty-piece chicken nut. No, you know what I mean. Well, yeah. right, well, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not take everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's just crazy how like they're just all like fucking thousands and thousands of chickens, and their sole purpose is just to get they get injected, and their sole purpose is just to fucking die. Yeah, back and in they're the day, in their shit own shit. Different, you know. Yeah, like. They they ate meat, but it was like the village. We had a feast, and we used every part of the animal. And it's just like it's just abuse. Yeah, like shit just got out of hand. It, there's still a part of that that exists in Mexico because I I went to my mom's ranch, not ranch, but her the little town she grew up in, which is like still really poor. And the whole like it was my grandpa's birthday, and the whole fucking town comes through. Right, everybody comes in. There was a pig in the morning. I've told you guys this. There was a pig there in the morning. I was just walking around. And then like by fucking noon. There was a ham. It was dinner. <laughs> yeah. You know, he was, it, we made him into carnitas. Yeah. But it was just crazy how like that whole pig s- served the everybody. Whole village. Everybody. Yeah. And it was fucking bomb. And I don't know. It was just like something That's how shit used to be done. It. it was like, a, it's like, I, you know, I'm not, a, I'm, we probably shouldn't be killing everything, but like. That was a sacrifice for the people to yeah. survive. Yeah. And now it's just like, just this Luxury. weird thing. Mass producing. Just ma- it's like mass murder or something. Yeah. It's like just It really different. is, bro. It's fucked. It's like, I've I've watched too many documentaries. You're like, oh God. Oh no. And I guess <laughs> I we eat w- that shit. And know? I guess we wouldn't feel so bad, but then you look at how much we waste. I don't know how much of that shit doesn't get used. We waste it. We abuse them. Yeah. We inject them. The conditions are horrid. Before, they used to just run in the field, eat grass and shit, fertilize the land. When yeah. we needed it, we ate it. Yeah. Now it's just fucking go watch those videos, dude. You just literally go, damn. So well, even with, our, even with not just meat, but like fruit and shit like that. Like, oh, yeah. You we ever just walk, so into a, walk into a grocery store and you just see all of it and you're like, 
nobody's eating this many papayas bro i worked there 11 years dog the amount of shit we throw away i just eat it right out the trash (laughs) in front of my manager what are you gonna do this isn't stealing this in the trash fool and (laughs) you ever seen those jumbo (laughs) signs it's lost prevention (laughs) you guys ever seen those fucking jumbo sized mangoes and you're like what what did y'all put into these steroids bro steroids trans apples Yeah, careful who you're speaking to over here. He's a produce manager. What's oh, name? shit. What's <laughs> side? What's side produce. Yeah, Hell you, yeah. You don't know how to stock produce like he does. Uh, right, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> hey, brother, we don't want to take too much of your time because we know you're a I was going to say, I got to go caca, <laughs> yeah. man. I got to get but, out of here. Uh, the Kaka yeah. Boy podcast. Before, <laughs> before you get out of here, brother, anything you want to plug, anything you want to... Yeah, just check me out. Facebook, social media, IG, website, CraigConit.com. Always touring. Always at the comedy store, improv, and and on and on. Hell yeah. What tour dates you got? Yeah, this episode comes out March 6th. Oh, nice. I'll be in, uh, I forgot, but I'm always on the road. Ontario, I believe the 10th. Fucking take advantage. Oh, yeah, I got Ontario Improv. I got uh, fucking Albuquerque. Ontario Improv, Indianapolis, in Fort Wayne, Louisville, Cincinnati, Toledo, San Antonio, Grand Rapids, Albany, yeah. Syracuse, Los Angeles, Netflix Festival, May 11th, hell yeah, San Ooh, Diego, yeah, May yeah. 16th, Tempe, all over, just go to my website, I'm touring, I do like 50, 60 cities a year, it's fantastic. You see my boy Ken Flores say hi to him. Oh, I love that fool, that's my boy. Yeah. That's the homie, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and a crazy Saul, Saul Trudeau, yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Hey. That's my boy too. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They both know the dark side. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. now we're on the way up to the yeah, light. Yeah, there you, you know. Go. Oh yeah. You want right. to thank you guys. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my family, my friends, everybody who's been uh, shouting us out on the podcast. I mean, it's it's like uh, episodes like this make it feel like a uh, this shit's a dream. Like okay, like this shit's not real. Uh, so I want to thank you for coming on and coming driving all the way over here. Yeah, for sure, bro. Um, Shout out to everybody. Uh, thank you guys very much. And yeah, I'm done with mine. Yeah, on Just my that. end, shout out my lady as well. Shout out to all the listeners. You guys be fucking going crazy in the comments. We appreciate y'all. And again, shout out to the homie Craig for pulling up because this, uh, this means a lot. You know, we know you're a dad now. Your time is limited. So we just appreciate you. Thanks for having me, homies. Yeah. And uh, shout out to all the all the listeners that, uh, you know, listen to us week in, week out. Uh, shout out to everyone who's going to pull up to your shows. I want to yeah. I personally and my lady will be at your Ontario Improv show. Nice. On, uh, I believe it's March 10th. Roast so, him. So pull, <laughs> roast, roast him. him. Oh, yeah. in the back find him. The front. Find him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. But we'll be there. Uh, so I think my other boys, it's on a Sunday, I believe. So. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm down. Day of the Lord. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to wear a wig, bro. Just. <laughs> I'm Tarzan. <laughs> I'm not a roaster. I'm not. I don't roast. I roast myself. I just want to look like you that day. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, so yeah. we all have like you wear a wig cap. Yeah, <laughs> shirts with your face on it. Like, so as you guys know, like that's our home, like Ontario and probably like oh, right there. That's we're about ten minutes from there, and uh, yeah. So most of us will probably be in the building. So if you want to pull up, say what's up. Just pull, go yeah, go check him out. Support man. the boy. We'll be there as well. Go follow him on all his socials. Go, too. Yeah, go follow him. Uh, but yeah, shout out to again everyone who listens to us. Shout out. Good morning to everybody who's. Uh, watching this at 4 a.m when it drops on march 6th uh shout out to my family shout out to my boy shout out to my girl and with that we out peace, peace. ladies wait real right. quick can you look into the camera and be like ponte las pilas podcast say that one more time ponte las ponte las pilas ponte las pilas <laughs> Good enough. I'll take it. Ponta, Shout out, Ponta Brad. Las pilas. She's talked too fast, bro. I have to tell my mom, más despacio, por favor. <laughs> we can ponto las pilas. Yeah. See, I'm a halfy. I kind of could do it. I could roll my R's. You got it. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> Arroz, <laughs> Arroz con pollo. <laughs> hey, I can't, I can't read, bro. Porca. <laughs> Porca. Porca. Yeah. That was fun, bro.